Hello friends, Wine Jerk here, and today we're going to talk about a subject that is near and dear to my heart, wine tasting faux pas. Let's go over a few of the more common mistakes and get you prepared for the next time you taste wine. Let's start at the beginning. We are here to taste and smell the wine, not to smell you. So, no heavy colognes or perfumes or hair products or lipstick, basically anything that adds extra flavors and or smells to the wine. It doesn't do you any good to go home and then all your wine notes say, smell like Chanel number no. five. <laughs> Be clean. Nobody wants to smell BO, unless we're tasting burgundy and then nobody will even notice. Also, no Axe products. Wine tasting is for grown-ups only. When we pour during a tasting, we only pour a small amount into the glass. Just perhaps an ounce or two. Uh, this will give the wine some room in the glass so that we can kind of swirl it around and get a good look at it. Swirl, sniff, repeat, and so forth. Um, too much wine in the glass and it becomes very easy to spill the wine. During red wine tastings, this is another reason why I always recommend that you wear black clothing. And we all have cousins like this. Always about two minutes away from putting you in a headlock and telling you how much they love you. Also, the purpose of our tastings is to educate rather than imbibe. You don't need me to open a bottle of wine and drink it. If you can gulp down a bottle of wine in three sips, you should probably just stay home anyway. Let's look at the wine glass itself. This is called the bowl, or the bulb, where the wine sits, and this is called the stem. We hold the wine by the stem so that we can get a good look at the color of the wine. Um, kind of like a, a Jedi wine move here. It seems like the non-pros are the most vocal during wine tastings, especially the Google Pocket professors. My suggestion is be honest with yourself. Don't be fooled by pretty labels, prices, or high scores. Let your palate be your guide. If you like it, drink it. I subscribe to a radical new philosophy that is changing the way the world drinks wine. It's called, I like this wine. Pour me some more, please. The best thing that you can bring to a wine tasting is an open mind. Perhaps a designated driver. Okay, so let's talk about what we've learned today. Uh, don't wear heavy perfumes or colognes or any other odor maker that takes away from the wine. We want to smell the wine, not you. Take small sips and hold the glass by the stem. Also, don't ever grab the bottle and try to pour yourself some. It's just bad manners. Spitting out the wine is considered classy if you spit in the designated areas. And this will help you get through a long day of wine tasting. Also, don't be swayed by others' opinions. Have confidence and taste for yourself. If there's anything I can impart to you, it's this. You'll never find a wine that you love or a wine that you hate unless you taste it. I hope this has been helpful for somebody. I'm the Wine Jerk, and I'm out.